And we've got breaking news that's coming in, a big announcement coming in from the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. This is a, a big Atmanirbhar push in the defence sector. The, there's going to be an import embargo on 101 defence items. The embargo on imports is uh, planned between 2020 to 2024. Those are the details uh, coming in. This decision uh, will offer an opportunity to the Indian defence uh, industry to manufacture items in the negative list uh, as well as what the Defence Minister says. But let me go across to Shrinjoy who's joining us uh, uh, to give us more perspective on this. Uh, Shrinjoy, if you can uh, shed some light on these announcements and what is really the implication of it. Well, this... Uh an effort at indigenization, almost a forced effort. The important thing is uh, that the Defense Ministry has looked at things which the Indian manufacturers can manufacture in India and have come up with 101 items. Now, these cannot be imported anymore. They have to be manufactured in India because India feels, uh, the uh, government feels that, yes, there is a possibility of Indian manufacturers manufacturing them. So if they can be made in India, why should they be imported? That's really the point. And importantly, this is an list and the number we have 101 now, it could go up in the future. Uh, five years later, it could be 100 or 5,000 or whatever it is, depending on the ability of the Indian manufacturer. So this is an opportunity for all people uh, who believe that uh, the forces like only things manufactured abroad and things like that. This is an opportunity for Indian manufacturers uh, to the Indian uh, industry to produce something that the armed forces would need. All right, uh, Shinjai, thank you so much for joining us uh, with all of those uh, details. Uh, in fact, uh, let's also cut across. Uh, DGCA is uh, speaking as far as the air tragedy is concerned. Let's just cut across.